Good day everyone! I am Kimberly in Dorte, a second year student from the University of Cebu under the College of Teacher Education major in Mathematics. Stay with me because I will be opening doors and widening the horizons of learning and how technology shapes the world. In this presentation, you will be guided to select and use ICT tools for teaching and learning. The objectives of this sharing are select and use an appropriate digital tool in teaching and provide alternative ways in incorporating the digital tool in a lesson. What is ICT? ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. This refers to various tools and devices or gadgets used in communicating, disseminating, creating, storing, and managing information. It's important that learners understand how to use these tools in helping them learn. A great part of learning is working on information and using it to create something that can be useful and edifying for humanity. Since the intention of education is to make learners become useful and productive citizens, the use of ICT tools can provide a lot of possibilities on how learners can do something with what they know. Teachers can therefore employ ICT tools in their ways of engaging learners by communicating, disseminating, and managing information. This direction of integrating ICT tools will reveal the usefulness of employing ICT tools in a wider range of the teaching and learning process. Overall, the Filipino teacher shall be empowered to meet the technology challenges of a 21st century digital age. It is not necessarily the presence of advanced technology or the use of ICT tools that can ensure the success in engaging learners, but it is still remains that the effective use of ICT tools depends on how the teachers will use them. Why do we integrate ICT in education? ICT in education improves engagement and knowledge retention. When ICT is integrated into lessons, students become more engaged in their work. In the new normal where face-to-face -face is a no-no because of COVID-19, the Department of Education and Commission on Higher Education has never put an end to learning. That is why varied platforms of learning are used, like Google Meet, Zoom Meeting, Google Classroom, Learning Management System, FB Messenger, and etc. so as not to hamper education. Since ICT integration allows our processing of information, here is an example of how we can read information at a quicker speed in an interesting manner, using mobile phone and the QR code. This is now popularly used in different products, reading materials, and even in museums. QR stands for Quick Response, effectively and efficiently connecting the physical world to the electronic world. Developed by Japanese Corporation Densu Wave in 1994, it is a type of barcode that can be read easily by digital device and which stores information as a series of pixels in a square-shaped grid. Allows reader to decode information at a high rate of speed. Popular in Japan and it is also used by companies as they attach their QR code in their product. It usually gives a URL linking you to a website or immediately provides salient information about the product and often used in marketing and advertising campaigns. 10 Interesting Ways to Integrate QR Codes in Your Teaching Create interactive and engaging content You can enrich the content you teach in a class by using QR codes that link to other readings and resources. You can link to a PDF, a video production, a website, a document, or an audio file among others. Scavenger Hunt Create an interactive classroom activity such as the scavenger's hunt by using QR codes. It provides instructions resulting in a better learner engagement. Share Resources Learners can use QR codes to share educational resources with each other. Examples, lecture notes, web content, how to do videos. Enhanced Classroom Library Create QR codes of students' brief write-ups. Students can use these codes to find out more about the books. Use in classroom activities. 
The QR code can be used in giving instructions in class and pin them up inside the classroom instead of providing them with thick copies of printed materials giving instruction on how to do an activity. Gather students feedback. You can create surveys, polls, and forms of using Google Form and share them with students as QR codes which can easily scan and access. Provide help with homework. Detailed instruction can be made into a QR code, which students scan at home and use the information to help them comply with their assignments. Research project. Make students create QR codes linking other resources and web content to their research work. Communication with parents or partners. You can share information to parents in school events or activities in school. However, be sure to orient the parents on how to use the QR codes. Provide easy access to online content. Create QR codes with URLs for students to gain easy access to online resources. Sometimes when a long URL is given, learners may copy a broken URL version. Hence, resources become inaccessible. Using laptop and the infographics. What is infographics? Athletes compiled of information and graphics are graphic visual representations of information, data, or knowledge intended to present information quickly and clearly. It is eye catching and makes use of a clear layout, attractive colors, and characters that provide a cohesive presentation of the information. There are many ways for which infographics can be used to present survey data. Infographics can be highly useful in presenting statistical data, such as from surveys. Data are much easier to decode. They can be made easier and quicker to understand if they are presented in an infographics. To simplify a complex concept, simplifying a complex idea is the core purpose of using an infographics. This is very effective educational tool as a way of summarizing key points or providing an overview of a lesson. To explain how something functions, using infographics, it can show the intricacy of how something complex works. It can reveal the mechanics behind how an object works. Designers can create infographics by showing the mechanics behind the intricate objects, processes, and concepts. To compare, presenting information by highlighting similarities and differences through a visual parallel in an infographic can turn out more effective than sometimes expressing it in words. It is easier to draw comparisons with the same information neatly organized. To present interesting facts, when information or facts are presented all in words, the use of infographics can bring life. It can transform the information into a visual image that can attract and engage readers. iPad or tablet and the online bulletin board. An online bulletin board is a way of presenting ideas with a twist and interest with no cost at all. Steps Number 1. Search for www.padlet.com 2. Sign up or log in using any of your social media accounts. 3. If you want to make your own, click Make a Padlet. 4. If you want to join someone's bulletin board, click Join Padlet. A. Enter in the dialog box the URL of the Padlet you want to join. B. Start posting on your friend's classmate's Padlet by clicking the plus sign. C. You can share your Padlet or online bulletin board to your friends. I will end my sharing with a quote. Technology will never replace great teachers, but technology in the hands of great teachers is transformational.